Using a rotary cutter and self-healing mat can be a time saver in sewing, but if used a lot, your mat can take a lot of abuse. This video will offer tips to keep your mat in excellent shape. The best thing you can do for your mat is make sure it's stored correctly. Always keep it flat. Don't roll it. A good place is under your bed or hang it up on a hanger with clips. Keep it away from heat. Don't store it in your car. Don't store it next to a heating vent. Keep it out of the sun. Your mat will warp. You also want to keep your mat from freezing temperatures as it can make your mat brittle and break. What makes a mat self-healing? The surface is made from independent tiny pieces that separate when a rotary cutter runs over it. If you allow fibers to remain in the grooves after cutting, you're not allowing the mat to heal itself. As a tip, make sure you change the blade in your rotary cutter because it can dull over time. If it's dull, you'll have to press down harder and this can create deeper grooves in your mat which might not heal. It's a good idea to move around on the mat and not cut in the same area all the time. When you finish using your mat, wipe it down with a soft cloth. If there are fibers stuck, you can use packing tape or a soft brush like a toothbrush. You can also use an eraser, rubbing in a circular motion to get out fibers. You can run the mat under cool room temperature water with a mild detergent like dish soap and gently scrub. Don't use things made out of metal like your scissors to try and dig fibers out. To deep clean and condition your mat, you can do the following steps. Wipe your mat down, removing as many fibers as you can. In a plastic tub, sink, or your bathtub, depending on how big your mat is, add room temperature water enough to cover your mat. For every gallon of water, add a quarter cup of white vinegar. Let the mat soak for 10 to 20 minutes. Add mild detergent like dish soap and gently brush to remove any further fibers. Dry with a cotton towel and it's good to go. Cutting mats can be an expensive notion. It's important to take care of it so it lasts a long time. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPinkCushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.